Why is Annabelle not back till now? She's usually back by 5.30. Eh? And it's past 6. She's not yet here. I'm sure the manager must have left the office. Or could it be she have something doing in the office? Okay, let me wait till 7. If by 7 she's not back, I will have to call the manager. Open her by 7, this girl is not back. I'll call the manager. I'm going to come here for you. So, please help my daughter. Let nothing happen to her. She has never stayed this late before. I think it's time I call the manager. Now let me call Brian first. He should be at his place. Hello, Brian. Uh, please, is that Annabelle at your place? Back from work. That is the problem. She's not yet here. Eh? I hope everything is well with her. Exactly the question. Exactly the question. She, she has never said this late before. Eh? Maybe, maybe I should call the office. Okay, let me call the office. Then I'll call you back. Oh? Hey, we will find it because she's not there. Hello, manager, good evening. Yes, please. I am calling to know if my daughter is safe in the office. What? Eh? She left since 6 p.m. She's not yet at home. No, I've called Brian. He said she's not there. Hey! Could it be she, she's hanging out with some friends? Eh? Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ah, she lives at 6 o'clock. She's not in my hand. I need to come right now. Oh, I need to come right now. I'm sure they can't be good. God, please, I'm going to my alumni. God, please, let this girl come back safely. Please, I beg you. Please, I beg you. Hey, hey, Chipo. Make up right back. Really, what is it? I mean, you seem to be in a mood. When did you start caring about your mother? Anyway, if you must know, your sister is not yet back from work. So? She's not back, so what? She'll come back. She's probably a... At Brian's house, I man, having the time of her life. I've called Brian. He says she's not there. I called the office manager. He said she left the office since 6 p.m. And she's not yet here. So? She's a big girl. She'll come back. Why do you sound as if you know your sister's will about? I really don't. But like I said, she is a grown-up woman. She'll make her way back home when she's ready. Well, let me go back to pressing my phone. I thought something was wrong. It's, it's 
going to be an interesting one, you will like it. Come on, strike deal. Which kind of deal does? I want you to release me. Set me free. I'll give you a reasonable amount of money that can settle you for life. said, why am I doing this? That's because there's no job out there. Look, I think this is the opportunity you've been looking for. I can change your life. I can make you a better person. Come on, you deserve better than this. Just, just let me go. Let me go, let me go means you saving my life and I'm going to pay you back. things the same way. Oh. If Annabelle is kidnapped, that means we should suspect her sister Winifred. Oh yes. Winifred her should sister be a suspect. Winifred. Yes, she should be a suspect. Um how do you think Annabelle could be involved in this? Okay. Look at this. Considering her hostility towards Annabelle, she would want to eliminate her so she can have you all to herself. Come to think of it, you could be right. I'm always right. I'm going to their house this minute. Okay. If you don't mind accompanying me, I want to go there now. Fine, let's go. It's all good. Brian, you're here. Mm -hmm. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, you must be Brian's friend. Yes, ma'am. Avis. Yes. Avis. No, oh, sit down, sit down. Thank you. Ma'am, 
We have to lodge a complaint. We have to lodge a complaint to the station. Yes, ma'am. You think, you think it's better that way? Yes. Since we've not received any call indicating she was kidnapped, I think the best thing to do is to lodge a complaint. Um, yes, ma'am, he's right. You know, we need to lodge a complaint so that they will help us from a search party to get her. Yes. I think you're right. Since they have not called, nobody have called to ask for anything. And they've not even heard anything from me anyway. I think it's better we lodge that complaint before it's too late. Yes, ma'am. You're right. Okay? Yes, ma'am. What is all this, eh? What is all this? Mom, we'll have to do that right away. Okay. Alright, mom, we'll get back to you. Okay. We'll be back soon. Yeah. Okay, please. said since we are not really sure if she was actually kidnapped mm -hmm. we have to wait for 48 hours before they will commence any search on her isn't that crazy yes ma'am it's anything like that yes ma'am it's very crazy you know this country is very very frustrating i wonder uh, uh, um, no 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 how can they say anything like that though the dpo said they have to set a, a, a search team to begin at least to look for her car if they are able to get that one it will be very easy for them to Look for her. They might not wait to the. They might not wait to the forty eight hours. Yeah. Really? Yes. yes. Oh, that one is better now. I go to my daughter. What did she do to them? How would they take her? Have they killed her? Is she ah. alive or? No, 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 no. Annabelle will come back safe and sound. Okay. Amen. No, amen. Please don't let this thing disturb oh, you much. Amen. Oh. Mom. Mom, please. Mom, please. Okay. You need to sit down, please. Okay. Oh. Sorry, man. Okay. Listen, Annabelle is going to come back, okay? Yes. Hold your sound. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please, mom. Mm -hmm. Okay? Hold mm -hmm. your sound. Babes, you sounded urgent about the phone. Yeah. What happened? Guess what, girls? What? I kidnapped my sister. What? Yesterday. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. <gasps> so, where's your sister now? She's somewhere. My guys are holding her down. Wait, 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 Winnie. If I get you right, you're trying to tell me you placed the life of your own sister in the life of some hoodlums? Hey, they're not hoodlums. These are not just the random guys. They are my guys and they know the job. Winnie, so what? How, how, how could you? How could you be so cruel to your own blood? <laughs> you know what, girl? Just shut up. Because I have had just about enough of your bullshit consistently trying to lecture me. Between my sister and I, who is more cruel? Babes, babes, calm down. We're on the road. Oh, Winnie, uh -huh. to me, I think you're just making a wrong decision. You need to channel that your energy of yours to something productive, not the other way around. Like what? If I'm not mistaken, your younger sister happens to be the MD of your late father's multi-million company. Yeah, so what does that have to do with anything? I mean, I still own some shares in the company and I still get fat monthly allowance. So what does it matter if she's the CEO or whatever it is she is? Girlfriend, it matters a lot. Yes, you are supposed to be the CEO, not the other way around. Yes. Have you ever thought of or imagine how much your sister might have acquired in that company. Now, she drives a better car than yours. Instead of you to channel that energy you're using to fight over a man with your sister to something productive by taking your stand as the first child. You're here wasting your time running after shadows. My dear, be productive. Joy, see. Joyce, may heaven have mercy on you. What kind of advice are you giving her? 
No, instead of you to tell her to go release her sister wherever she kept her before she land herself into trouble, here you are saying rubbish. I'm saying rubbish. My dear, I'm saying the right thing. That sisters of hers need to be taught a lesson. Really? Yes, so she can respect her elder. Don't tell me that. No noise. No noise. You know, I just remembered I had to be someplace right now. So y'all can go. I... Winnie. Yeah. We should go. Is it that all I've been saying you don't understand or you've not been listening? No, no. I really appreciate the time. I'll call you. Sorry. Winnie, Sorry, let's go. Why would she listen to you when you have been speaking? I don't like, like this. From your mouth. Giving brother wrong advice. Let's call it finish. Don't, don't tell, tell me that. Stage. My food. Your weak because you have not eaten anything. Okay, you'll be fine once you eat food. But tell me, what really happened? How did it happen? Mother, I promise I'll tell you everything. But not now. By the way, is Brian away at the office? Yes. He nearly spent the night here with his friend. They rushed to the police station and reported the incident so that they can start search immediately. That's good. Mommy, please, I, I want you to do something for me. Go ahead. I want you to invite Brian over, but I don't want him to know that I'm back. Also tell Silas and Cecilia that they shouldn't give him that information. He said, okay, I'll do that right away. Okay, first of all, let them get you food, okay? You'll be fine. Sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. 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 Mom, this is the gift. Yes. Thank God you're back. So what happened? How do I begin? I... Everything that happened was like a miracle. Because... Up until now, I still cannot explain how I got home. I was coming back from work. Driving slowly on my lane when this keke just double crossed me. Baby, I was so scared. Two guys came out from the keke with pistol in their hands and and ordered me out of my car. With guns? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> hey. 
I didn't know what I was thinking at that point. They dragged me into their cafe, took me to a house that I don't, I don't know if it's a house or a room or a cell. It's, there was no window, there was nothing. I can't even see the outside. I kept begging for my life. I kept pleading for my life. I, I even tried to bribe them. I tried to strike a deal with them so that they can just let me go. The next morning they dropped me somewhere. Just there I realized that was where my car was parked. That was how I drove home. Just like that? Babe, just like that. Mm. Ah, like Thanks a miracle. Glory be to God. Mom, <sighs> glory be to God. <sighs> Babe, thank God. Thank God that you are back. Safe and sound. But that means they are not after money. Not at all. I told you, I've tried to bribe them. I tried to see if I can give them money so they can release me, but they refused. <laughs> this whole thing is just a miracle, babe. I... Babe, are it's you sure you, someone is not after you? Like, think very well. If there's someone you're suspecting. Yes. Yes. Yes, babe, you're right. Because they were they were acting under instruction. Huh? Yes. yes. I am telling you. They were acting under instruction, I am sure. This is serious. Devil is a liar. This is serious. And their instruction failed them. Ah. Babe. That means you have to be very careful. Or rather, we have to be very careful. Mom, Winnie is the only person I am having beef with. Don't go there. Mm. Mm. Babe. Okay. Thank God that you're fine now. Thank God that you are alive. Um, Mom. Yes. I have to go to the police station now to inform them that she's back. Good. Very good. I have to go, eh? Very good. Thank you. Hey, let me go and inform them, eh? I'll come back as soon as I've done that. Hi. 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 I'm happy that you're back. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, I'm waiting. I'm coming back right away, okay? Thank you. Mom, I'm coming. Thank you. Hey! That's the back part. The police. Winnie is responsible for this. Since I came back, I haven't seen my sister. Where is she? Here oh, yeah, she comes. Hi, Hi mommy. mommy. Welcome, my friend. Hey, Annabelle. You're back. I am. I see. So the kidnappers let you go. How did you know I was kidnapped? <laughs> you were gone for a couple hours, I mean. It's only a kidnap situation that would have kept you away. So, yeah. Okay. So how'd you make it back? You escaped or they had me on you? Which one is it? You know what, never mind. I don't even care. Mommy, mm -hmm. this stuff I'm going to talk about, and it has to be now. I'm only afraid you think this is the right time to discuss that. Yeah, now's the right time. I'm very sure. Okay. So, I think that it's time I began to run our father's company as the first child and first daughter of this family. You must be very stupid to spill that from your mouth. 
Shut up, kidnapped girl. It seems you never learn. You're a stubborn one, aren't you? Winifred. Yes, Mama. What makes you think that you're the right person to lead a company? Uh, Mommy, what makes you think I'm not the right one to handle the company? I mean, she studied civil engineering. And I, on the other hand, studied business administration. <sighs> So, keeping these factors in mind, Mommy, isn't your question ridiculous? Winifred, I'm asking you this because um, I want you to understand one thing. Your sister started following your father to the office right from when she was in secondary school. And when she graduated, she continued in that office. So she knows everything about that office. You have never worked. Besides, she studied civil engineering, which makes her uh, a better person to run that company. Please. Like I said, I am the first daughter of the family, as you know. So it makes absolute sense that I take over, especially in the event of my father's demise. Let me remind you, sister of mine, Wait, hold on. Are you just waking up? You're just realizing that you are the older sister. <laughs> wow. Well, let me remind you again that father made it so clear before his demise that I, Annabelle, will be running the family business after his demise. Why are you even bringing it up? Why are you speaking about it now? Winnie, we are going to follow what Father's will states. And that's it. Baby says, I believe I have a gift for you. Give me a second. Somewhere here. No, no, no. Oh, there it is. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck that stupid will. You're trying to talk to me about a goddamn will that you guys possibly may have altered? What? Shut up! up! I will not fall for that crap! Mom! What if I can you say something like that? Mommy, I said what I that said. That will was signed and sealed. Y'all can what? shove it down your asses. What if I sister? Killing my husband is not enough for this girl. So she want me to die before my time. Mother, nothing will happen to you. <sighs> you will live long to see your grandchildren. Nothing will happen to you. Amen. Amen. Okay, 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 mm -hmm. guys. You, you sounded so uh, happy over the phone. So tell me, what is the good news? Elvis, my man. I have been very, very happy. In fact, so much gladness is filled in my heart. Okay, I'm listening. <sighs> Annabelle's mom called me today. She asked me to come over to the house. I went there. She presented me a gift. A wonderful gift she presented to me. Guess what that gift is? Oh. Guy, okay, come on. <laughs> Listen, guess. You, 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 no, no, no. You know I'm not good in guessing. And on a second thought, she presenting a gift to you at this point in time, I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> I, I know you're not good at guessing. I, I know. Now, if it were to be all those women that you used to follow up and down, you would know how to guess about them. I'm a professional. A, a professional in guessing that aspect. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Annabelle is back. Whoa! Yes, that was the excellent gift she presented to me today. In fact, throughout today, I have been very, very happy. I don't even know what my body is just... I, I, don't, I don't just understand. Wow! <laughs> wow! Bigger wow! <laughs> Indeed. Mm. This is a great news. So, what happened? She said she was kidnapped yesterday evening on her way back from the office by two masked men. This morning, they released her and ask her to go freely, just like that. Ah, uh, in fact, 
is a thing of joy. They kidnapped her yesterday yeah. evening and released her this morning. Without ransom. Ask her to go. Without ransom. Dude, if I never should run on those guys, would she recognize them? Are you deaf? Maybe. Are you deaf? Maybe. I said those guys were marked. They, their faces were covered. They were marked. They covered their faces. Wow. And besides, she said they blindfolded her, so she wouldn't recognize any of them. Wow. In wow. fact, I'm so happy. Well, anyway, we, we have to give thanks to God that she came back sound and healthy. That is the only thing we that should start it. doing now. Yes. <laughs> okay, um, Guy, we have to go back to the station and tell them that we've seen her. Oh, I've done that already. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> and next time, make sure you and Annabelle to take good care of yourself and stay out of trouble. We are going to do that. So what do I offer you? In fact, today is the happiest day of my life. What do I offer you? Can you anything? I know you will like that soup. I told you. Um, that um, I know you will like that soup. That soup. That soup. That soup. That soup. Wow! Congratulations. Thank you very much. No, it calls for celebration, and I need to drink over it. Congratulations, guy. Hi guys. Hey. You're welcome. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Fine. Fine. You're welcome. So, what's up? Um, this one you invited us here and that look on your face, I sense there is trouble. So, let's hear it. Trouble? Haba? Camilla, that was too harsh. Why will you say that? But I'm speaking the truth. Wait a minute. Are you by any chance insinuating that I am a problem carrier? Winnie, that is. You know shush. Because I don't even blame you. I'm going to blame myself for this one, you know, because I'm always calling you to come to me when I need to share important stuff. That's why you think you're all that. Isn't that right? Oh, girl, yeah, I'm sorry. Come on, let's put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what's up? What's wrong? Just let it out. We're here to listen to you. Waiter. Waiter. Yes, ma'am. Please Hello. give my friends a bottle of this crap. What they want. So, I called you guys because. I need to apologize to you guys for the last time. I need to. Thank you. Can I have you open up, please? Thank you, thank you. Okay, so baby girl, don't go ahead. Sorry for that bit. Yeah, so I'm sorry for the last time. And also there's new information that I can't wait to let out to you guys. Okay. Okay, we're listening. The last time we were together, George here made some very vital points. You remember? Yeah, I do. How you persuaded me to quit pursuing the irrelevant and go for the relevant. Yeah. Well, I took your advice. Wow. <laughs> I did take her advice. And the consequence, as I speak to you, has raised some bloody chaos back in my home front. Which of the advice do you think? Joyce here persuaded me to take over my father's company. And then I had to talk to my mom about it. And did she agree? Well, I did tell my mom and my sister, and they vehemently opposed the idea. I mean, my mom, according to her, 
she says that I'm not qualified to run the company. Can you believe that? Um, Winnie, if I may say, I think your mom is right. I mean, let's look at it this way. You and I know you have never worked before. And your dad's company is not a child's play. It's a construction company. It's big. You have never worked before, which makes you inexperienced. Let's just say you take over the company as the MD. How are you going to cope? Are you a fool? What the hell is wrong with this baby? She's sick in the head or something. Whose side are you on anyways? You know, it appears that this stupid bitch has made a habit to deliberately antagonize me a lot lately. And I wonder why. What kind of friend are you? The kind I will always tell you the truth. When you are my friend and we have come a long way, I can never deceive you. I can never lead you astray. You handling your father's company when you are inexperienced is not the right decision or the right move to take. Your sister has been doing a fantastic job. Why don't you let her continue the way she was doing? You shut your mouth, you stupid brat. Shut that dirty mouth of yours. If you have nothing to say, shut up and get out! Hey Fred, did you just think I would slap you crazy if you don't pick your dirty bag with your dirty self and get the fuck out? You would have seen Get up now and go! Okay. I will go my way. Oh, boys. You lucky I didn't break this bottle on your head. Wait, what's wrong with you? Like a damn bloody fool. Oh, you want to start with me? I'll give you some of me. Excuse me. You're excused. Now pick your dirty bag and walk on with your loser of a friend. I should pick my dirty bag and walk away, girl. Oh, really? You will look for me. Well, let me tell you. When you look for me, you won't see me. Ah, uh, yes. Well, who's going to look for you? You. Your trashy self. You're not gold. Neither are you diamond. Now get to step in. I don't blame you. Bounce. You're a fool. I blame you. Ugly duckling. Oh. Poverty stripping. Like who cares? Get out. Oh. With your cheap ass clothing and cheap ass hair. Everything about you cheap. Don't ever talk to me. Don't call my phone no more. I don't care about you bloody idiots. Welcome girls. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I called you both here because I have something very vital I want to talk to you about. So what is that? I hope it's a good news. Brian and I have chosen a date for our wedding. You don't mean it! I am serious, girl. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the best news I've heard in a year. You can see that. <laughs> Well, we're going to get a wedding planner who is going to take care of every single thing. Okay. Okay, because I want this wedding to be the best in town. No it's cap. It's real. So shall it be. <laughs> <laughs> it's real, of course. Are you guys going to be here? Yes, that would be last Saturday of November. Okay, wow, wow. That's good enough. Enough time to plan for the wedding. Yes, so because I want everyone, all my guests, to be well prepared. I'm sure. Oh my god, we're gonna turn upside down! Try to stop You know what's gonna happen? This will cause perception. We need to pop champagne. Exactly. It's not easy. Exactly. We're gonna turn this town upside down. Yes, you know what? We're not popping shit here. Okay? Okay. We need to be outside. Let's go out and home. Now? Now! Okay, guys, let me just put on something nice. I can't put it Oh my goodness! Hey! Unbelievable! I know, right? After all the drama, she's finally getting paid. Pay you! Pay you! Can you imagine my own younger sister getting married in three months? Three months from now. While me, on the other hand, I'm yet to find a good man. In addition, she is in charge of the company. I must take possession of the company as the eldest child of the Wachiku family. She can have Brian for all I care, but she cannot have the company 
I will not allow that. I have given her enough time to hand over the company, but she doesn't want to. And even our mom is in total support of her. I'm going to have to eliminate her once and for all. There is no mercy again. So, Anna, what do you want to do now? You said your sister will be getting married in a few months' time. To the only man you have ever loved, right? Mm hmm So, what's the plan? I'm thinking... Let's cripple her. What? I need her alive and in pain. Enough to see me while I take over at the company and run it right on that nose. Come on, Mama. Come on, no, no, no. Mama, don't you think this is wickedness? Yes. Keeping her half alive in misery for the rest of her life is enough wickedness. So, to me, I don't, come on, no, if you ask me, no, that's enough wickedness. Come on, Well, I didn't ask you. So, show your pain down your ass. What do you suggest? That we kill her instead? Uh, uh, Mama, this one had a male blood sister in this. <sighs> well, Mama, um, for me, I, just like I said earlier, I don't think we should do anything to her. But definitely no one wants to repeat <sighs> Come on, Mama, come on, take that away. Come on, drop it down. Please, 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 Madam, as we are saying, the boys confess that your daughter here paid them to kill one Miss Annabelle and Mr. Brian. Jesus Christ. Yes. Are you sure of what you're saying? Of course. Winifred. <laughs> Surely there must be something of mix up here because this is ridiculous. I mean, how dare you stand there and accuse me I've been responsible for the abduction of my own sister. Winifred. Is this a joke? Officer. Um, Mr. Winifred, the evidences are there to attest to the fact of what we just said right now. We'll get to the police station, you have to prove yourself better. The boys confess the attestants to you sent them to kill one Mr. Bram and Miss M. What's her name? Miss Annabelle and Mr. Brown. Beautiful. The attestor you send them to kill one Miss Annabelle and one Mr. Brown. Really? So as it stands right now, madam, you are under arrest for attempted murder of one Mr. Brown and Miss Annabelle. So please, can we move that to the station now? No. Will friend? Stand up. We don't have that time. Stand up. Move please, can time. we move to the station right now? Please, we don't have this time to waste here. Move it. Are you sure? Move it before you, I, I handle you roughly now. What are you saying? You're gonna come get me out, don't you? Move. I'll be waiting for you to come get me out of that shit hole. <laughs>
Why are we fighting? 